going to push. I'm going to organize my body so that he's pressing my back foot down. I can imagine that I'm smashing my own finger underneath that back foot. And I relax the shoulder so that the deltoid doesn't bite and I don't have the muscle isolation. You can kind of shake it out just to make sure. And I'm grounding on the back foot. Same thing, he's pushing in, I'm smashing my finger on the back foot, I'm organizing my body to relax, and if he lets go really fast, you see how I don't fly forward, because I'm not doing a breaking angle, okay. Taking his energy and grounding it on the back foot. You can assist the organization of your body as far as the shoulder biting and isolating by imagining that you're touching the wall past just kind of brushing it with your fingertips. Some people find that helpful, but it's more important that you are really smashing that foot via his thrusting in. Home. So there's really nothing on the, the front foot. It's just grounding the back foot. Okay. All right, let's try. It, it, it is not necessary. So like if I if I move in here, he, the grounding is the same, and I'm still relaxing that and organizing my body so that I don't extend, that I don't isolate that deltoid. You can see. Same thing if I if I move out here, I'm still doing the same thing. Okay? I I I have to consciously not let the shoulder bite and isolate, so I, I relax everything and I just have the back foot grounding. But you will find it easier if you organize yourself in a more tactically minded manner. So, arms in front of you, not off to the side, okay? And not at a lie that violates the other weapon, okay? So, it's a slight bend in the elbow, and the elbow is in, but not so much that you're now exposing the outer deltoid to a more sophisticated Okay? So you'll find this groove here. And from there, try these exercises. Rounding the back foot. Stop the shoulder from biting. Arm in front of you. This is too much bend. Slight bend. You're going to think of it as a hyperextension and then a slight bend. Okay? And then no underneath, elbow is underneath, and you're up this way. Okay? He's pushing, that changes. I don't start going like this. I don't he pushes. I don't start going like this. I just stay in that position, and all he's doing is pushing my heel onto my own finger that I'm imagining to be harder and harder. Okay? All right, try so, I, he's going to work with me, he's pushing onto my back foot, so he's helping me train for grounding, and I'm going to bend my arm, and he's going to move up the arm, so he'll push on the wrist, replace the hand, and then he'll go to the elbow. It's slow enough so that I can reorganize everything as I need to, and he'll come down and come up to the shoulder with one hand. Okay, and then this is out, and he's doing the same thing, and then he reverses it. So, elbow is low enough that I reorganize myself accordingly. Elbow, wrist. And 
And the whole time by reorganizing is I am consciously relaxing the limb and stopping the shoulder by it, okay? So he does the same thing. He is grounding me, and he'll come up to the wrist, to the elbow, and I consciously relax everything. He's still grounding my back foot. He goes to the elbow to the shoulder. Higher and nothing changes. So whenever he does a good let go, nothing changes. Okay. So same thing. It comes up. The elbows. And I am just constantly regrounding the back foot. All consciously relaxing the shoulder. Okay, so again, you do a quick let go, and I don't go flying, okay? All right, try it. So to help us, we're going to change the drill, but the um. principles are all the same. So to stop any chance of a bracing angle, and as you go up this arm, okay, this shoulder tends to be a weak point most of us and it's actually a loose corner so as he pushes on it it starts to turn you that way so you do have the grounding of the foot but like I said you have to have the organization of the body and you want to think that your shoulders and hips move in a connected way that you don't do that okay so I'm here like this I just first I want to learn this homogeneous relationship Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna make that more of a corner, and he'll come down, and I take away that bracing angle, and we push, push me, push me back, jump me back, jump me back. That's what you're trying to do. Okay, so you're pushing me, and I'm gonna do the same thing. He's grounding my feet. After a while, I'll take that energy back. He's just grounding my feet. I'm not leaning. He's making me heavier. I'm smashing those fingers. And then I push out. So anywhere he wants to do a fast let go, I don't go flying, do you see? So he's pushing, grounding me, grounding me. I keep that shoulder hip relationship. And I push down into my own. Let the 
technique, throw you. Don't be so scared. There you go. That's it. So it's not like this. Push off, push on. Push into me. Boom. Oh, you see I disarmed that. Push into me so I hit the ground. That's it. You should like that the who can do it? Can you do it? So here's what the two kids do wrong. So you go, and then that arm goes like that. If you keep that arm straight, you see how my body comes up off the ground instead. So I'm going. And you guys go like this. Lower your body. You see that? You see that? You can do it. Push and fly. Oh, don't pit. Never pit. Oh. Nope. There you go. Keep this arm straight. Push, push. That's it. Okay, try to grab. You did it again. It. It's very beginner though. So, I'm now moving out of the way. That hand is hitting the base of that same foot. Okay? Boom. Still the homo foot. I don't 
I don't want you to do a geometry change. It's the foot. This foot. This foot. All I did was take the hand from here and I brought it here. Chest to chest. Wow. 